Welcome to our November month about food. We're going to talk a lot about food this month, as particularly as we head into the holiday season. Food is always attached to celebrations, to holidays, to belonging, and to well-being. Probably one of the most interesting pieces I read was an article out of Syria, Aleppo. A well-educated man, a survival, said this, hunger is the greatest thief of anything in the world. It takes away everything from you. It takes away your ability to think, your ability to be kind, your ability to be moral, your ability to be human, your ability to live. And in the bottom line, all survival is about food. So what happens? What is it about food that is so critical? I read an anthropologist who said the following, that if you want to have a community, you have to have the five things for a community to exist. You have to have people eat together, they have to sing together, they have to pray together, they have to dance together, and they have to be silent together. In other words, they have to be able to live in harmony, with, in peace, with the quietness, but with the celebration of song and dance and food and blessings and prayer. So as we think about heading into this holiday season, we'll be looking at food from different angles. One of the things we do know in the research that when families eat together, the children tend to have higher achievement and higher well-being. Now, you could argue that a lot of that might be to the structures that are in the household, the focus of the parents, etc. But nonetheless, we know that families that eat together, their children have higher achievement. So this process of food, we can't live without it. Most of us have difficulty living in some way with it. So how do we make sense of food at this holiday season? That's what we'll be looking at.